We're joined by head uh, women's soccer coach Simon Ridioff following a 2-1 overtime win over Drexel. Uh, coach, your opening thoughts on today? I thought we played really well. I thought we were dynamic. I thought we created chance after chance. But fair play to Drexel, they scored early and made it difficult from then on. And uh, we knew it was going to be a long night. We just hoped we had a little bit of quality at the end. And we got that from Shep's cross to Murray. And uh, fortunately, we came away with the three points. Coach, what did you tell your team going into the half down one? Were you concerned? Were they concerned? Did you see them have to calm them down? Or was it just business as usual? No, we, we, we talked about a couple of things we saw on the field. Uh, switching the play quickly, uh, attacking certain spaces. But overall, it was just minor details. You know, a little bit more communication to, to the person shooting, take your time, a little bit extra focus in front of goal. And, and we just thought we were gonna gonna finally get a goal and, and, and win the game, but it took longer than 90 minutes, unfortunately. How would you assess the team's play in the first half? What would you attribute to the slow start? Um, I think uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I thought we played from after that first goal. We started playing really well, but the first five minutes we were sloppy. Um, tactically, I, I adjusted a couple of things defensively. Uh, maybe that was a factor. Drexel played a 4-4-2 and we had to adjust a little bit in our 4-3-3. Uh, so maybe the girls just weren't 100% comfortable with that. But once we, we got with it, it was, you know, all downhill, I thought. Uh, coach, you had a number of corner kicks early on that were headed out by the Drexel defenders. What did you see that was different on the one that led to the tying goal? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they're very good at defending corner kicks. And uh, I thought, and that was another discussion in, in half time, we have to vary our services. We can't just keep eating it the same way all the time because, uh, because Drexel could deal with them. So we adjusted a couple of things there, and to be honest, I think it was just a matter of a ball bouncing luckily. There was nothing, uh, there was no design or plan to that. It was, we've got certain set pieces and people have to be in the right place, and Bree Duran uh, was in the right place, which is fantastic for her. Coach, coach your, oh, I was gonna say, coach your defense, less than 2% of the time during regulation had the ball at the box or below your box. I mean, how does that speak to your defense is just will to win? Yeah, I was just, I, again, our defense starts with, with our front forwards and it goes through the midfield. And I thought everybody put in a really good shift, worked hard, uh, had an extra desire to keep the ball out of the defensive third. And when we do that, we're an extremely difficult team to break down. As, and you know, if you look at the last five games, we're averaging maybe three shots a game against us. And, and that's purely because our pressure is very good and everybody's buying into that system. And when we play with that kind of energy, we're going to win a lot of games. How would you assess the goalie play from both sides? Their goalie was fantastic, wasn't mm -hmm. she? She made three or four really good saves. And uh, early in the second half, I thought Sheps had scored uh, with a toe poke and she, she came up big. Our goalkeeper was solid, composed, didn't really have anything to do, but what she did, she did well. She. Uh, protected the box, she played as a sweeper keeper at times and handled that kind of pressure, which is difficult in a, a tight CAA game as a freshman, mm -hmm. you de you're dealing with back passes and people running at you, mm -hmm. you can panic, but she didn't, she, she showed a lot of confidence and a lot of composure tonight. Coach, let's talk about some of the goal scorers here tonight, Brianna Duran, I mean from what we've seen hasn't been on the pitch all that much this season, but did her job, scored a big goal for you in the second half to knot it up and force overtime, what did you see from her out there today? Well, we. We had an inter-squad scrimmage Sunday and uh, it was basically the starters versus the, uh, the reserve team and uh, Brie Duran shot Sean. And so you, you've got to give people credit and she, she played well. She came out of that scrimmage with a lot of positives. And uh, we spoke, me and Jerry and Kelsey, and, and we, we made a decision that we've got to reward kids who show when we ask them to show and Brianne Duran did. So, uh, she deserved what she got. She got a just dessert. She's been patient. She's been a fantastic squad player, team player for, for Hofstra for three years. And she was patient and she, she got a deserved uh, reward. So I'm really proud of Brian Duran tonight. And then on top of that, Mary Taylor, just so clutch for your team. Second overtime game winner this season, three goals in total. And both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. She just seems to be flying around everywhere. Yeah, I said to Mary 
uh, this week, I looked at game tape from last year, and she's probably 10 pounds lighter than she was last year. She's fit as a fiddle. And when she's that fit, she can cover ground and pressure like we want our centre forward to pressure. And that's what she did. And again, like I said, the defensive work comes from our forwards. And she, she's the epitome of what we look for defensively. And offensively, we know she's got the ability. She's a, a, an extremely talented individual who can change games. And that's exactly what she's been doing lately. Great. Now, finally, uh, actually, just one more question here, Coach. Now that you've started CAA play, how do you use this to move forward in CAA play and keep playing the same sort of level? Well, it's like anything. CAA play, it's not always going to be pretty. It's not always going to be easy. Um, if we play like we did tonight, we're going to win a lot of games in this conference. If we stay composed and defensively sound. Um, but, as you saw tonight, it could have easily been 2-1 Drexel or 1-1 after overtime and we've dropped points. And so, so we know what to expect. We've been here before. Uh, this team's an experienced CAA team. And uh, we, we're just relishing in the next, next opponent. Let's, let's get to the next game and, and move forward. Okay, thank you, Coach.